everybody. It's been a pleasure to be here with you. Just girls today. It's gonna be girls night. That's awesome. <laughs> How are you girls? <laughs> hey. Good evening. Hi, Good evening. Teacher. You look more fresh today, Miss Janet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's Did Wednesday. You, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, right. The middle of the week. Yeah, I know. I know that. Yeah. Uh, how was today? Was it more relaxed than yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Too much. Yes. Too much, you said. Why? <laughs> um. The work was more uh, liviano. Uh, more soft. Yeah. Oh, that's that's amazing. Because yesterday you look like, no way, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I imagine that because I saw your eyes. You were like, oh, my God. But now <laughs> you look different. That's good. Excellent. But well, I'm glad so. Yes. Because, of course, yeah. we need, like, sometimes some rest, right? Yes. Oh, of course, I know that. 100% <laughs> sure. Yay. But you know what? I, I was we're supposed to be just girls. But Mr. Kevin appeared, so I'm sorry for that. It's not going to be girls' <laughs> night anymore. Right, Kevin? Kevin, Vijalta, how are you, sir? How's your day going so far? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. And you? Well, I'm good, but I had to let you know that um, I, ha I have a, like a little social problem a little bit oh and you know what i think and yesterday uh, yes and yesterday what happened i wanted to ask you, i wanted to ask you where are you from why because <laughs> the word talk in spanish like um yeah foreigner like what <laughs> uh extranjero foreigner a foreigner. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, really? Well, no, I'm not. I'm a hundred percent oh. Salvadorian. Do you believe oh, me, guys? Okay. Don't, please believe me because I am. <laughs> I am Salvadorian. My parents are Salvadorians, both of them. Oh, okay. But the problem is that I'm, um, I do speak more than one language. So sometimes when that happens, your accent changes completely, right? So that could be the reason why. I think I sound, Kevin, more like uh, somebody says Mexican, and other people say Colombian, and other people say Guatemalan. I don't know, many Latin American countries, <laughs> except for El Salvador. <laughs> I don't know why. What do you think, my man? I don't know. I yeah, don't, know. don't worry. Hey, Kevin, you promised us something. <laughs> I can't hey, remember. Do you remember what you promised yesterday? I show my face? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't remember. You can't? Why Mara, not? Maybe. Give me a good reason. I'm eating. What? I'm eating. Ah, 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 of course. That's a better. Don't worry. We can. Sh what you're eating? <laughs> Just get, um, teacher, eating. you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Nos, you know why with Nazi? Nazi is like uh, that is Nazi in English. It's like uh, 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 like uh, what well, you said. That. No, no, Nazi is like mm -hmm. no. It's not insisting. Um, well, I remember like when my my mother was. Uh, it is um well it used to be a, a teacher, right? A Spanish teacher, and. Uh, when when I was in the university, sometimes I have a day off, and I gave English classes to the to the kids at school, and uh, I remember the ones I heard an idiom, but I didn't. But but for me, that idiom that they that the kids use, it was like to eat something because the chef that the the person said um, bread with turkey. But in yes. Spanish, right? Bird with turkey. Pan con chumpe. Exactly. So that means 
oh, are you, are you going to celebrate something I said or something like that? And no, when they said bread with turkey, that means like, hey, you are, <laughs> it's not your business, you know? <laughs> so, so that's why Kevin, I didn't mean to be like the bread with turkey, <laughs> right? Um, Some, someone says to ocho con yo. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? Ser metiche. No, but what, what, what was the expression? Ocho con yo. <laughs> ocho con yo? Oh my God, and when that comes from? <laughs> it's just like uh, you are seven in, in a question, and I'm going to, do, to, to stay here. Oh. No, no one is by me, but uh -huh. I, I am here. But it's ocho con yo, it's not ocho conmigo? Yeah. Oh, it's conmigo. But but people say ocho con yo. Ah, but it's not the right way to say it. It's ocho conmigo. But people eh, say ocho con yo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> okay, a new Spanish word for me. Yay. That's good. I'm, I'm learning, you know. Ocho con yo. <laughs> that's amazing. All right. But now I know that it's pan con chompe, right? That means meke, right? It's and, the same as. Yeah, and and also so it's like a synonym. Yeah. Ah, it could be another idiom, maybe. Oh, that's nice. All righty. When uh, that means um I remember that old uh, the early people, the early people, when you learn something new, and doesn't matter if it's language or any life lesson, uh, they used to have a phrase with that means that uh that, that will help you in the future. And they said, pan para mi matata, right? I remember yes. that, pan para mi matata. That means, okay, I'm gonna take it for me, right? For me, for my lesson, for future references. So that means pan para mi matata. <laughs> in my case, right? Ocho con yo, you see the pan con chumpe. That's amazing, you see? You see why guys, learning Spanish for a writer is really hard. It's really hard because um, not only the accent, but also the words that you use. And here in El Salvador, we have a lot of idioms and a lot of words that sometimes you think that is literally, but it's not. For Imagine bread with turkey. For me, it was the bread with the turkey and all the stuff, right? But no, it is like, in English, guys, the word is nausea. Nasi, meke, nasi, right? So I don't want to be nasi, Kevin. Okay, I apologize because he said I can't turn it on the camera, teacher, because I'm eating. And I said, "Hey, what you're eating?" I'm like, come on, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I'm just teasing you. Yeah, the teacher is crazy. I'm sorry if I have like a different accent today, but I think I have a sore throat, a little bit. And, uh, and I think it's because it was my fault, you know? Today was really, really, but really hot for me. And uh, I wanted something fresh. So my husband had a watermelon inside of the fridge. Oh, and I took a piece of watermelon and it was really delicious because it was fresh and sweet. But since the watermelon is fresh and it was coming from the fridge, <laughs> so that's guess what? The cosmic like, Oh my God. And you know what? Uh, yeah, this is this is one of my weakest part of my body all the time because uh, uh, that was my work instrument, I can say that. So I need to take care about it. And sometimes I forget and being nine years in a call center as well, right? So I think I have a pretty sexy voice today. What do you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yes. Take take, yeah. Take Take a little cup. Take a little cup of whiskey for you. You know what? That's true. But I don't have whiskey. Well, I I do have it, but a dog, not the liquor itself. Tequila <laughs> <laughs> shot. Uh, yeah, you know what, Alex? Saying that that's true. Well, right now, guys. But but, but it's better that whiskey. That's better uh, whiskey is good. I think it's because the... whiskey is a little bit harder than to kill it. You know what, okay, uh, right now, um, I'm taking a specific medication for, for one part of my brain right now. 
so I cannot uh, take any alcohol, alcohol beverages. But um, when before that, I remember Alex, what you're saying is true because uh, I have like a terrible allergy, guys terrible allergy that I was like <laughs> like that right because I have a, a spine problems and and of course I have a sore throat like <clears throat> like that right so we went to um our friend's house that also they were having dinner with another friend's house but they were parents for one of my besties in the states so uh, they brought me something and uh, one and the girl the amphitheon right the host and uh, she said so Lita, what happened? Oh my God, you sound so terrible. And I let her know, I think it's an allergy problem. So she had like a chamomile tea with uh, honey, but it was uh, a, a, a specific part of the honey. I don't remember exactly what's the name of that. Uh, but she, 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 this that's, that's a tea that comes from Mexico. So she prepared it. And of course it was really delicious. But then what Alex said, she gave me a shot a shot of tequila but you know what alex it was um uh al almond with tequila with almond almond taste uh -huh. almendrado mm -hmm. yeah tequila almendrado yes. so and, and she gave me that the little the little cup right a little shot and i said hey, what about the, the, the lemon right because you're used to that take a lemon and she said no because that is um almond taste ah, almond flavor oh, okay so you said you don't need lemon because it's kind of sweet okay okay so i like take it a shot oh my god it was really good because at the first time it takes like sweet but then you will feel it like that they were doing like this <laughs> right in, inside your throat but they were like cleaning it actually so okay well we finished talking and everything when i came back home you know what that is one of the the days that i have slept like a baby not only because of the cinnamon tea that makes me relax, but at the same time, the other one, my goodness. And next day, no sore throat problems. Disappeared completely. Can you imagine? So I'm like, oh my God. Since then, I was looking to have um, the little tequila with almond taste at my, at my home, but I cannot find it. I, at least not here in El Salvador. I cannot find it. And now due to a quarantine, I cannot ask a friend coming from Mexico to bring me one, right? Mm -hmm. it, is for, it is for medical problems. Uh, 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 okay? <laughs> no, nothing else, course, guys, okay? Course. Don't take it oh, bad in the wrong way, right? <laughs> no, no, it is actually. And it's really, really good. It's true. Oh, we need this, this medicine. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fantastic. And it is fantastic. I'm gonna take your advice. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you know what that happened i have tried it and that has helped me a lot because next time oh there was i was not nothing happens with my soul throw everything is fine everything disappears completely i think that's why the people who drinks a lot they don't have cold and they don't they don't have anything regarding the, the throw right yeah because because okay. of the alcohol the, the alcohol i think it like kills all the bacteria inside mm -hmm. So that could be the reason why no, they're always healthy. Well, regarding that, right? Because the liver, they have a like, <laughs> yeah, the liver, no, the liver will be, yeah. and they, oh my God, one shot more and they disappear. No, the liver is like, oh no. Yeah, but you know what? It's really nice. So since then, uh, I wanted to have like a little tequila at, at home because of that. When, when my dad was, uh, was alive, he used to travel a lot and we have like a mini bar inside the house and every time that she he comes back from that tr from a trip he brings like a a bottle a bottle of any type of beverage alcohol beverage so we have a collection that you cannot <laughs> imagine yeah but you know what it was nice because uh, uh, none of us uh, were like curious about how the alcohol tastes no because sometimes my mama make a dinner for us for everybody fish or, 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 cooking. or, or, or cooking and everything and um and they said, okay, this uh, this beverage you can drink it as a guys because of course they have beverage for different type of of people, right? John people, elder people. So I, I remember like sangria, right? That mm -hmm. is that is like um, beverage, but you can as a as a children you can drink it, and also you can mix it with uh, with ice cream as well. So she used to have a, like that kind of things. So 
basically because of that, we were not curious about how the alcohol tastes. Because my mama said, I prefer that they drink here with family than outside. Oh, yeah, I know. And, and none of us has a alcohol problem. No, no nothing. We're not good, good. Okay. No, no, nothing. No, no addicts of anything. No, and no cigarettes. No, nothing. No tobacco. No, nothing. We're good about that. But we are addicted to food. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and to coffee, right? A hundred percent coffee. Yeah, and to tea, of course. Ah, oh, I love tea. You know what? I think I'm gonna drink chamomile tea after that. Oh no! You know what? Have you ever tasted um gold milk? Gold milk. Gold milk. Gold milk. Well, that's what they called actually, but um, it is like any kind of milk that you have, right? It's like if you're going to drink a hot milk, right? Like hot milk. You added a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of honey, and what else? A teaspoon of, um, uh, how you say that? P powder or, of uh, canela, cinnamon, yeah? Cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, but, but in powder, not in rations, in powdered. And have you ever heard about the curcuma? Yes, yes. Yeah. So you add like a half of the teaspoon of curcumin. Yeah. And mix it off, everything. Oh my goodness. Curcuma, curcuma with milk. Yeah. You know what? Cur most of the time, the people use curcuma with, uh, to, to prepare chicken, right? To prepare uh, any kind of food. The rice, mm -hmm. that right? tastes really good with curcuma. And sometimes they make a tea or infusion with lemon. Or with ginger, oof! But it is true, it's really strong, because ginger and curcumin they're family, but it's really potential. But if you mix it with milk, oh my goodness, it's really good. How was the flavor like? Uh, but the mm. ginger and the curcumin is 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 their their family. Uh -huh, is is good for the reflux? Oh, for a lot of things, for a lot of things including depression yeah. that's amazing depression. so yeah anxiety and all those stuffs so basically uh, you just put milk a teaspoon of honey teaspoon of vanilla uh cinnamon in powder and the half of the teaspoon because curriculum is really strong the yeah. half of the teaspoon and then mix it up and drink it you cannot imagine you will sleep like a baby i promise it it's it, really really nice it, it's it, its name is golden golden, no, golden, milk. Milk. golden milk golden milk yeah it's really nice it's really really nice so you, maybe you can try it that would be awesome oh. yeah <laughs> i i have tried it because of my stomach problems because of um my job is really stressful so sometimes i have like a gastro problems i cannot see it yeah exactly that's the one <laughs> yeah they said that they, they prefer like um almond milk or coconut milk but of course they are really expensive here in El Salvador so you can try any milk that you want but you'll see it okay. will help you a lot a lot okay so Loida said okay stop because teacher is talking about that no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not I'm just dizzy hey, hey guys you know what I like your you're you're really good good looking today but Mr. Kimmy was supposed to show us his face and I think he already finished having dinner, right? I was giving him time. Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, 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 Kevin. Hey, guy. Oh, I think he's like taking a shower, maybe. That could be, right? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. He promised us that he's supposed to, sh uh, to share his face. Because today, I need everybody. I need Anita, Eileen, Steffi, Jenny, Kevin. I need everybody to show the face. Because today we're going to practice with our physical appearance. <laughs> Stephanie Morales, hey, I, I like the color of your blouse. Hey, Jenny, where's the baby? Uh, my baby is sleeping. Yay, so she's like, my baby's listening. Fine. <laughs> 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 no, I know it's really hard to be like that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm happy. Yes. About, so you're going to be like with us because I need you to do that. Hey, guys, I know that you already have done this in the platform, maybe. But have you ever heard about the, um, the question is, what does she look like? 
I have two questions and I want you guys to let me know what is the difference besides of course in writing, okay? So I'm going to write it down right now on the, on the chat and you let me know what am I asking? Wait a minute. Okay, read it. Who can help me read it? Thank you so much, uh, Sirhan. Go ahead. Can you okay. read for me the two questions? Okay. What does she look like? Uh -huh. What is she like? Okay. Very good. A hey, teacher, we have like, like. Uh huh. Yes. Can you let me know, guys? Uh, is there a difference besides grammar? Of course. That is obvious, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the first uh, question is the appearance. The what? Appearance. Appearance. appearance or the uh, appearance? The, 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 the appearance and the, the, the screen, the person. All right, the appearance, physical appearance. Very good. What about mm -hmm. the second one? Appearance. What is she like? What is she like? Uh, what's that? What am I asking? How yes. Is the per the, the what person? is she like? Uh huh, uh huh. An idea, Janet, very good. What is she like? But how you call that in one word? How you call that in one word? Um, uh-huh, because it's not the same. It's about what does she look like? Physical appearance. Very good, guys. Good. But what about the other one? What is she like? Um, uh-huh. In one <laughs> word, one word. I need only one uh, word. Personality. Yay! Very yeah. good. Personality. Yes. She's Janice says, I have it here, but it didn't come up. It didn't come up. <laughs> All right. Very good. Exactly. <laughs> so, guys, I am giving you this because sometimes we mix it up. Or sometimes people ended up tended up to confuse. Or they want to like know about the physical appearance and they said, What is she like? And I'm like oh, okay. Or sometimes they use the opposite word, right? So so I want you to know. That when you're talking about what does she look like, I need to know, or I'm asking about physical appearance. And when I'm asking what is she like, I need to know personality. Okay? So it's totally different. Not only in the in writing, but at the same time in meaning. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, for example, mm -hmm. what does she look like is she is very tall. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and what is she like? She's uh, very angry. Exactly. Okay. Remember that the first one you're talking about a adjective that describes the physical appearance. And then the second one, adjective that describes the people's personality. Now she's funny, she's crazy, right? She's lazy, or she's intelligent. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She's uh, simpatic. Use your imagination. All right, guys. So, eh. Uh, what right now we are going to concentrate on the first question. What does she look like? And we want we need to have the information about basically a vocabulary that will help us to describe people's personalities. For example, guys, or in this case, people's a physical appearance. May I apologize? So we need to know uh, the, what type of hair the person has. Uh, if the person is uh, the size of the person, right? The age of the person as well. What else, guys? What do you think what else? What else we need to know? Age. The age, uh-huh. The hair, the height, and of course, guys, the looks. Okay, the looks. Okay. All righty. So let me share right now with you what information that I have here. Oh, no, no, of course not. All right. Okay, guys, can you see it? Yep. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So here, guys, when talking about hair, I want you guys to pay attention to something. Bear with me. There you go. On hair. We have long hair, right? We have short hair. That's the opposite. It's straight hair. What does it mean, a straight hair in Spanish? Iso. Lassie. Very good. <laughs> exactly. Lacio or liso. Curly. What does it mean? Colocho. 
Very good. Very low. Bold. Uh -huh. Calvo. 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 Very good. Exactly. Hay uno que no está aquí. Sometimes we have hair that is not straight, not curly, like my one. That has Undulado. waves. Exactly. How you call that in English? How do you say it? Ondulado. Listen. Wavy. 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 Remember the waves for the ocean? Okay. The ocean. okay, so that means wavy, wavy, wavy hair is a, is the one that is in the middle of curly and straight, right? Like cabello con ondas. Exactly, exactly. Oh, oh when you said in Spanish, quebradizo, because it has ondas, right? So it's like wavy, wavy, wavy. Okay, so guys, and of course, let me go back to the, uh, 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 to the vocabulary, very good. And of course, if there's a guy with mustache, a mustache, and a beard, right? Um, bigote, a barber, right? Very good. Yeah. Okay, guys, take a look at something because I want you guys to pay attention on how we, uh, what is the position of the words that we use when we're talking about uh, that this part of the people's appearance. First, guys, we put the the height of the of the of the hair. First, we put long. You see, long, short, oh. straight, curly, bald, etc. Then, guys, if you can see, what is the word after long? Brown, right? Brown. 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 That means the yeah. color. Okay. So you said long brown, short brown, straight black, curly, red, etc. So, guys, I want you guys to pay attention that long and brown. Let me ask you guys, are there uh, adverbs? Are there adjectives? What kind of words are there? Are these ones? Uh, adjectives? Adjectives, you're okay. right. Because it's uh, the, those words are describing pe people's hair, right? Say qualities. Exact, no, appearance, people's hair. So in this case- of the Qualities of the, of the, of the subject. In this no. case, the hair. No qualities. I can say it in this case, uh, Janet, characteristics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You're right. So when we are talking about description of the somebody's hair in this case, we put first the adjective, guys, and then the noun. The noun will be at the latest. Okay. In this case, will be hair. Why I'm putting this into um, like a pop up? Because remember that in Spanish is the opposite way, right? We, we said blusa amarilla, right? Yes. But in English, we switch the orders. First, we put the adjectives and then we put the nouns. So you can say, for example, um, okay, the, my hair is not long. My hair is medium size, we can say, right? We can say that. My hair is not a straight. My hair is not curly, it's wavy, okay? And I can say that my hair is brown, okay? So I have, guys, three characteristics. I said my hair is color brown, wavy, and in medium height, right? Medium height. So I can say I have a wavy brown middle height hair. You see? First, you, you mention what, what type of hair you have, curly, straight, whatever. Then you mention it if it's like what color, right? And then you put the size of your hair. And then the name hair. You know what I mean? Loidita, I think you have a big question mark. Go ahead. Do you have a question, Loidita? No, okay, okay. Because I was like, oh, she's like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so that's what I want you guys to pay attention of the order. Yes, you're talking about a what kind of color of type of hair you have, curly, straight, whatever. Then what's the color of your hair? And then what's the, the distance, the measurement of your hair, right? And the second one, for example, we can say Sirhan. Sirhan, he has a short black hair right no short black straight hair 
right? Uh, straight hair. Very good. So always, guys, hair will be the last because of the noun. So you have to put all the adjectives before. Okay? We're going to practice that. A, A. How do you say quebradizo in English? Wavy. 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 Very good. Okay, guys. So now let's do something. Let's practice the pronunciation of these words before we go to the second um, um, picture. Let's repeat after me. Long brown hair. Long, long brown, brown hair. hair. Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Straight black hair. Straight, Straight black, black hair. hair. Mm -hmm. Curly red hair. Curly, Curly red hair. hair. Bold. 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 A mustache and beard. Mustache, mustache and, beard. and beard. Very good. Now, guys, take a look at this one, at the second one. Here, guys, we have the age, okay? We have, in the age, we can, like, um, put it in three categories. Young people, middle age, and elderly. Middle age is another way to say adults, guys. The, between, for example... 30, 40, 50s, right? Like that, until that. Then from 60s and on, it will be elderly. All righty. So repeat after me. John. 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 Middle age. Middle, Middle age. age. Elderly. 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 Very good. Now, guys, take a look at the... Oh, okay. That is like a redundant but of, of the looks. <laughs> okay. We have here three words. Handsome, good looking, and pretty. Okay, guys, when we're talking about a man that is like, wow, right? Like Mr. Uh, Brad Pitt, for example. For example, okay? I'm not saying that I have preferences. No way. Okay. But for example, you said, oh, my God. Uh, that's a handsome man, right? Handsome. In Spanish, it's guapo, right? Guapo. And uh, for girls, when you're talking about that, uh, right, Alex, Sirhan, and Mr. Carlitos, the hot, sexy mama, right? Like 60, 90, 60, <laughs> all right? Hot, sexy mama. Mm -hmm. well, 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 there's a hot, sexy mama, but but you don't use that. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it is pretty. You can say pretty, pretty or you can say pretty, whatever. Pretty, pretty. British, pretty. pretty American, okay? Remember, pretty woman, right? Walking down the street, right? Like that? Okay, are you see? Oh my god, I have a lot of music in my on my mind. All righty, so um, so you see, pretty for girls, don't say she's handsome, no way. Okay, she is handsome, guys, she's pretty. Huh. However, do you remember that in the middle there was one word good looking? Good looking, all right, good looking, you can use for both for girls and for and for men, good looking. That means in Spanish, bien parecido, good looking. He's a good looking man, like, okay. Está guapillo, no? Está guapito, está guapito, right? Oh my God, that sounds like a Colombian one. Yeah, está guapito, right? Like that. Yeah. Está guapito el chamaco, right? Oh, that's Mexican, okay. <laughs> All righty, okay. So good looking. Uh -huh. Don't worry. I'm giving you vocabulary because we're going to do some practicing today. <laughs> right, Eileen, Anita, and Boris. Boris, I want to see your face as well. And also Kevin, okay? Ha, Kevin. You own us your face. And I need your face today. Anita Romero, you look so nice. Okay, don't worry. You see why you don't want to turn it on the camera? Come on. She's like, she's up here like, Ugh. and then it goes, I'm just kidding, kidding. <laughs> All right, very good, Anita. You look nice. Uh, so don't worry, okay? Oh, Alex, okay? Alex, I want to see your face as well. All right, so I'm missing Eileen, Kevin, and Boris. Okay, now let's go back, right? Because we have seen three, right? Okay, guys, do you remember which are the three categories when we're talking about age? Uh -huh. John. John, yeah. Middle, middle, middle age, age. Middle age. And, elderly. and elderly. 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 Uh, now, I, I know, don't worry, you, you're not going to sound uh, respectful. Elderly. Say that. Elderly. Elderly. 
Elderly. Elderly. Saque la lengua. Elderly. 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 Very good. <laughs> don't don't Elderly. worry. Like, uh, nah, uh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you see, you like it, right? Elderly. <laughs> no, Elderly. You know? yeah. Elderly. <laughs> Elderly. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's the correct way to pronounce it. So that's why. Yeah, so I, sometimes maybe we'll, we'll feel exaggerating right now, but then when you get used to pronounce that, it will be elderly. You see, you're not, you're, you're not supposed to like, eh, do it like this, no. But this is just for practicing purpose, for your facial muscles, get used to the pronunciation of that. Yeah, very good. So what is the name? Elderly? How you say that? Elderly. Excellent. Elderly. Yeah, elderly. very good. Elderly. And every and tomorrow is a hey, what happened with your mouth? You were like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it feels a little bit tense. Okay, very good. So let me double check. Let's continue with uh, the next vocabulary that I want to share with you. Okay, guys. Now we have the last one that we're talking about hide. That means, yeah, the distance, right? From the floor to the ceiling. <laughs> so we have short. Yeah, that means the little ones. Then we have fairly short which is not too short, but is not high. Then we have the medium height. Uh, here, guys, between fairly short and medium height, we can all, we have also a um, medium short, <laughs> but, but I will give it to you here like the, the general ones. Okay, I have medium height, then I have pretty tall, and then very tall. What is the difference, guys? The pretty tall, okay, it's like the standard one, right? No, this is the standard one, medium high. Pretty tall, it is like a little bit taller than the standard one, standard, but the very tall is what we can say Shaquille O'Neal, like that, right? All right, exactly. So we have short, fairly short, all right? Uh, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall, all right? Like, yeah, like Shaquille O'Neal, he's very tall. I have seen him and you cannot imagine I'm not going to be next to him, no to way. To mirrors as tomorrow. Tomorrow, what? Two me me meters? Two meters, two meters. meters. As more. More than two meters, more than two meters. No way. Um. I think if I be next to him, I will be like a, like a lock on his belt. <laughs> yes. Entendieron lock on his belt, Jenny, como un candadito en su cincho? Because he's like, oh my goodness. He's a giant. You cannot imagine. No. Yes. More like Michael Jordan. <laughs> exactly. More like Michael Jordan. Definitely. Yeah. So no way. <laughs> he's a huge man. A huge and big. He's tall and big one. Yes. All righty. So, okay, guys, <clears throat> it's time to practice. I have chosen a uh, three uh, personalities. East Scarlett Cruz, welcome. Three personalities of the entertainment that everybody will know. Okay. So I want you guys to uh, try to help me describe that per the persons. Okay that people um, um i have chosen like three of them <laughs> please guys one is a is a beautiful girl so please okay hold your horses <laughs> and of course one is a handsome man girls okay so we'll be for and jen is like oh yeah i want to see what the teacher has today yeah <laughs> all righty so allow me just a couple of minutes and then i will share with you what i have there you go Oh, add to the script here. Okay. Mm -mm. Allow me just one moment because I need to do something here. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Hey. <laughs> it's because I don't want you to see, guys. That's the reason why. Okay, I don't want you to see. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna share right now my screen. There you go. Okay, guys. Who's that person? Who's him? 
What's the name of this uh, actor and director? Do you know him, guys? Do you know him? I, I can't see anymore. You cannot anything. see it? Anything? Uh, anything. I, I can't. can't. I cannot. You cannot? Nobody? Nobody. Oh, my God. Nobody. Nobody wants to be lonely. All right. Allow me just a couple of minutes once again. There you go. All righty. There you go. Okay. Let me let me see if I can search search for you and share once again. Here we go. What about now? Is it much yeah. better? Danny DeVito. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Danny yes. DeVito. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So guys, can you describe him physically? Let's talk about a uh, hair. <laughs> well, he doesn't have, He's right? He's bald. He's bald. All right. He's bald. He's bald. He's bald. He's a short man. Hair. Short man. Um, very short man. He's elder. <laughs> elderly. 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 Uh-huh. Elderly and um, he's, he's shabby. Okay, so do me a favor because remember that all the elderly, shabby, etc., all of them are adjectives. So the last word that I want to hear from you guys is the word men. Is the word men. So you need to give it to me Elderly. all the descriptions, all the adjectives, uh -huh. and then the last, the word men. You need to start with the hair. Okay. So Danny De Victor, how do you describe him? Anybody? Loida? Danny De Victor is a bold hair. He has, he has. He has bold. Is is correct to say bold hair? Okay. No, he is bold. He is bold. He's he's bold. Mm -hmm. Okay, he is bold. He is a short man. He's uh, a little fat. Mm -hmm. Shabby. Um, he has a black beard. Hey, I don't think, uh -huh. Are you, do you think he's black? I think I'm sorry, wh white. I'm white. white, yeah. Or oh, maybe gray, right? Maybe gray. Mm -hmm. Maybe gray beard. Mm -hmm. And he wear he don't? glasses. I'm sorry. No, don't don't talk don't talk about accessories. Okay. No accessories. Just physical appearance. He is a black man. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Let me go back. Okay. So we saw Danny DeVito. Okay. Danny DeVito. You talk about his. He doesn't have hair. He's is bald, right? You're talking about mm -hmm. his size. You said that he's short. And also, you're talking about the age. He's elderly, and you said, uh, "I think uh, who said uh, Shavi? I think it was Carlitos, right? Carlitos. Uh, I, a little fat. Yes. Uh -huh. I, yeah, Shavi. Uh, Loira. Uh, fat is like I think it's like too uh, rude. Fat. Uh, you can you can say fat if you are close to somebody, right? But if you said ah, that imagine that girl is fat. <laughs> Come here, like ah, all right. <laughs> No way, huh? that is unrespectful. So you said, Shabby okay. is Shabby. like said, going, it's like in Spanish, goidito. 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 Like, oh, can you gosh. spell that? Shabby. Please. How you spell Shabby, guys? Uh, no, like shorty. Shabby. C H U. U. Uh huh. Oh. C H U. C H. Google it. Come on, Carlitos. <laughs> Double B. Google maybe? knows everything. Know. Uh huh. Double, Double B, B and then. Double B. Y. 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 Uh huh. That's what you said. Shabby. Is that what you how you say it? Okay. Shabby. No, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just asking if you're if if, if that's what you think it is. Gordito. No, 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 I know, but I'm asking if it's the correct way to write it. Uh, Carlitos yes. was supposed to Google it. Right, yes. Carlitos? C H U B and Y. Y. Uh huh. So is it right? Yes. It's right. Okay. I'm just asking because I, wa I want to know if you're uh, sure about that. 
Okay, so basically, guys, if you if you want to like describe Danny DeVito's characteristic, you gotta say all the adjectives in one, and at the end, you use the word men. For example, you can say Danny DeVito, he's a bold, short, elderly, shabby man. You see? I don't want you guys to put he is, he has, no. No, and or, or repeat, he is or he is a man or he is shabby man. No, I want guys to put first all the adjectives and at the end, you use the word man. So if you can describe Daniel Levito, he's a bold, short, elderly, shabby man. Or you can say he's a bold, short, shabby, elderly man. I don't know. You can leave the H at the end. Okay? That's what I want. And the beard and the another things like, I don't know, eyes or nose. It, no, it's not, not important. No, it's not necessary, it's not because, necessary. Because, because I'm asking the general description. Okay. If I have it's to. It's a bold, short, chubby, elderly man. Mm -hmm. An elderly man. Elder, exactly. An elderly man. Exactly. So we. If we don't say it hands on a good looking, no, because you didn't, uh, didn't apply, right? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So we're just talking about in general. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Alex. Do we have a specific rule to describe the people? To the, yes. As I was explaining, Alex, first, you got to put, you got to, you got to start with here. <laughs> with the hair, right? And then it's uh -huh. like going down, 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 down. And then yeah. I think we'll be talking about H. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, girls, you will love this next picture. Uh, no, 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 it's not girls. It's boys. May I apologize. Boys, you will love this picture by heart. Allow me just a couple of minutes. I, my, look at Alex's face. He's like, <laughs> who she's going I'm to be I'm waiting to hear I know, <laughs> sir. Uh, don't, uh, don't worry. I'm not going uh, I'm not going to make you wait too much, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you, uh, every, can everybody see my screen? Yeah? Hey. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Who's that girl? Who is? Who is she? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me Who that you she? don't know. No. Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> exactly, Alicia Key. She's a really oh, beautiful, beautiful girl. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. <clears throat> so, guys, tell me something. Is she tall? Yes. No. Yeah, she is. She's, she's using heels, but she's pretty tall. She's pretty tall. Okay, is she fat? No. No, she's a slim, right? She's a slim. She's a slim. She All right, yeah. very good. Right now, she has iron on her hair, but her regular hair is curly. She has a curly, curly. hair. Uh-huh. Her mm -hmm. hair is long. It's like here, like or, uh, here, over here. Mm-hmm. And let me ask you, uh, how old is she? Is she young, elderly, or middle age? Middle age. Middle age. age. Is she good looking or pretty? Good looking. She's pretty. pretty. Uh, pretty. Who's that pretty? Alex. Pretty woman. <laughs> I, I know, pretty woman Thank walking her. down the street. Yeah, good. Yeah, go ahead. She has a, a specific type of skin. What? I don't know how to say the color that is skin that skin. she has. Yeah. yeah. What, what color is she? I don't know. It's, it's not no, like... Don't say coffee white. because it's not coffee. It's <laughs> not mm, brown. 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 brown color. It's a light brown, brown color. Skin. It's a brown skin, yeah. Oh dark, yes, color. Yeah, dark brown. Oh. Which when you are like for the people from India, remember that they they are brown, but they're really dark, right? So dark brown, and then the light brown is like is they're brown, but they're more like soft brown, right? Like her, like we can say trigueño, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, like that. So like that. Okay. So how would you describe her? You need to start from here. And then elderly, right? Or the age. Oh. Alicia Keys. Sure. She's a girl with a long black 
straight hair, right? No, or you can also say she's uh, pretty. Oh, pretty and pretty tall. Mm -hmm. Slim. Middle age. Middle age. Brown, brown skin. Brown skin with a long hair. And tall woman. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I think Alex is breathless. You know what breathless is? You know what that means? <laughs> she only is pretty. <laughs> Breathless is sin aliento. Sin aliento, oh. breathless. I cannot breathe. <laughs> I know, I know for sure. I know for sure. <laughs> yeah, breathless. Okay, guys, I said a slim, right? Okay, guys, uh, we have a um, thin and a slim. Uh, I'm going to, no thin, the, the cosa. No thin, the delgado. I'm going to give it to you. Thin and slim. Thing is like a screw. Hmm? <laughs> thin is, ve is very, very thin. Yes, thin is como, um, we can say raquitico. Flaco. No, Flaco. different. Fra yes, Flaco, yes. pero que te vean los huesos. Thin. Esqueletico. Exactly. And slim is es una delgada. persona delgada. Yeah? It's uh, more polite. And no, no, it's, it's physical appearance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and if, for example, uh, remember, guys, that I'm asking you about, she's like 90, 60, 90, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you said yeah. that a girl has, is a 90, 60, 90, like, um, I don't know, like, a, like Colombian girls, of course, like Salvadorians, we are pretty, right, girls? Uh, of course, we, are, we have our own, guys. Come on. Huh? Okay. So, <laughs> that means that we are curvy. Curvy? Curvy. Yeah. curvy? curvy. The, the, curvy. the, the, the girl yeah. that has curves? Curvy? Okay. Curvy like a mother. Yeah. Like a mother. Yeah, exactly. Like what, Carlitos? Uh, like a mother. Like a mother. Model. Model. <laughs> model. Like model. model. I depends. Like depends. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that model. model is slim. <laughs> Not thin. I think it's slim. Yeah, and you uh, can say to you can say or, or can you say? Can you, you say? Can you say fit? Ah, uh, when when somebody does does a lot of exercise. Okay, you can say um she, or oh, let me put it here in parentheses or he, is in a good. He's he or she is in a good shape. 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 Cause time for my is a good shape. That it, means that it's that correct to say fit. It, not really. No, because when you take when you're talking about that that person, well, when you look that person, you see that person does exercise, right? Because of the physical appearance. So that means that that person is in a good shape. It's time on a buena condition physical. Good shape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty, let me check it out. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Okay, don't worry. Okay, girls, now it's your turn. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. And finally, who's that guy, guys? Ooh, oh, Matt Damon. Oh. Ah, who said that? Who said that? Janet? <laughs> Damon. Matt Damon. All righty. Do you like that guy? Yes. Um, and, and Lloyd is like, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Hold my heart. With your heart. Okay, hold your heart. Hold your heart. Okay. So, Mr. Matt Damon. How will you would describe Mr. Matt Damon? Okay. She, he's um, very he's handsome. Handsome. At <laughs> all. He. He's a uh, handsome, tall, brown, John, curly brown hair, hair. Man. black uh, hair, middle age. Okay. Uh, middle like age. White skin. White skin. And maybe, handsome man, right? Maybe handsome. Maybe <laughs> blondie. No. Blondie. Uh huh. You can say he has a blondie, blondie. short hair. Mm. Short, short hair. Short blondie hair. Or short blondie hair, yes. 
Very good, excellent. So you see, guys, how we describe it? Uh -huh. And it is uh, in a good shape. Uh, exactly. Hey, look at her. She's like, good. She's like moving her eyebrows. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it that you would like this one. <laughs> I, was, I was, you know what? I was searching and I was like, which one am I need to pick? And I said, yeah, <laughs> most of the girls and the teachers pick like Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, but now I'm going to pick somebody else. I said, and now, you see, <laughs> I have chosen two for movies, which is Matt Damon, of course, and Danny DeVito. And what singer? Miss uh, Alicia Keys. Next time, I will, I will, I will uh, pick Beyonce, okay, Alexander? Okay, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just because of you <laughs> all right very good so okay guys we have practiced and i have gave you vocabulary i'm gonna give you um uh, another vocabulary um but it will be like a plus and this is regarding a um loira accessories okay because of of course we would need to do that because for example let's pretend that we're in a party and all the stuff and uh, you said who is, um, a weekend said, who is Loida? Oh, is that girl wearing glasses? Oh, well, you see? So we need to know what is the accessories. For example, these ones you call earrings, right? Earrings. She, Those are glasses. She holds glasses. She uh -huh. And the glasses. one that you use when you go to the beach, sunglasses. Mm. Right? Sunglasses, uh -huh. which is different. All right. What about this one? The one that you put here? Uh -huh. Necklace. 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 Exactly. Necklace. Necklace. Very good. Okay. Sometimes, guys, I, I will give you another. Um, I will share right now in a minute three types of um, dress coat. Dress coat. But because I want you guys to increase your vocabulary. Okay. So let me go back right now and da -da -da -da, let me share with you the information that I have here. All right. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, Whoa. just for you, just for sharing with you. Whoa. All righty, cool. All right, bear with me. Let me share right now my screen. Can you see it, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. If you see, we have three type of uh, dress codes. It's a fashion on the street. The first one is the classic one. Okay. We can set button down shirt. Button down shirt. That means, guys. Uh, or girls, um, uh, camisa con, bot eh, que se, con botones, pero que puedes abrir el primer botón, ¿sí? Como un poquito con el botón abierto, um, right? But on down shirt. Belt. Belt. You know what does it mean, belt, guys? Cincho. Cincho. Very good. Slacks. It's slacks. Slacks. Yeah. You know what lack, it's, slacks it's, are? It's a pant. Aha, uh -huh, but you know what's the difference? It's, it's formal. Formal, formal pants. Uh, maybe. Anybody else? Any other idea? Paletón. Pantalón formal. Aha. Any like when we say pantalón de vestir. Aha. The casual pants. Oh, no, no, yes. casual, no. It's a, a formal pant. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, but when you said slacks are pantalones tupidos, pantalones que son ajustados, yeah? Uh -huh. I... No like punta yuca, porque eso son otra cosa. <laughs> pero slacks son pantalones formales, pero que se ajustan al cuerpo, right? So slacks. Okay. And, and of course, guys, dress shoes, right? Zapatos de vestir. Right. Exactly. Guys, let me ask, let me let you know something. Okay. Uh, let me go back to you. Do you remember that this guy is wearing like a formal clothes, right? Formal clothes. Okay. So let me ask you, how you say manga in English? Sleeve. Mm -mm. Sleeve. Sleeve. Very no, good. Manga? I wrote it on the chat. Sleeve. Yes, sleeve. sleeve. So sometimes, guys, yeah. we, uh, we have short, like these ones. You can set short sleeve, 
But in the case of the guy that has that has a formal one, he has a long sleeve. Long sleeve. Entonces, shirt, shirt, guys, en inglés son eh, camisa, pero camisa de vestir, shirt. Okay? Shirt. Sure. Camiseta, like sure. the one that Alexander is using and the Carlitos is losing, is T-shirt. Not teacher, not me. T-shirt. Shirt. Exactly. Oh, so, so you, if you want to describe, to describe the guy, you can say, he's wearing a bottom long sleeve shirt. Okay? Sí? Muy bien. ¿Por qué les hago esto? Porque a las chicas... Eh, las chicas usan t-shirt, al igual que ustedes, t-shirt, pero los chicos se dice shirt, que es camisa formal, en blouse es camisa formal para las chicas. Usted no dice shirt a una chica que anda con una camisa formal, no. Shirt es para camisa formal para varón. Blouse es camisa formal para chica. No se usa shirt para ella, eso no. Yeah, just to let you know that. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Let's go back to the more information that we have. Now, let's look, guys, on the middle fashion. Cool and casual. Cap. Cap is una forma de decir gorra. Gorra, yes. Jacket. Chaqueta. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. Son pantalones flojos. Flojos, flojitos. Cargo pants. And boots, of course, botas, right? Okay. And funky, funky. T-shirt, ven que la chica también usa t-shirt, pero es como um, camiseta informal. Purse, informal. es purse. Cartera. Mm -hmm. Cartera. Exactly, play skirt. A bolso. A bolso. ¿Qué es un play skirt? Falda, no sé qué. Uh, falda, pero play, hoy sí, mira. Play son like plegada o, o con paletones. All right. Strip ties, strip ties, quiere decir medias, ties or medias, medias rayadas, strap types. And sneakers, guys, sneakers es una forma de decir tenis. Zapatillas. Zapatillas. Sneakers, guys, son más como los, oh my God. Tenis. Not really, no. ¿Cómo se llama? Una, una, como casual, los, like casual. Converse. Like Converse, como, como los Puma. Como los Puma. Para correr. No. No, no, no. Es like, um, no, como los All Star. Como los All Stars. All Stars. Como yes. los, mm -hmm. yes, those are sneakers. Como los All Stars. Ok. All -star. Que son diferentes a los tenis. Esos se ocupan para, para hacer ejercicio. So, los sneakers son los que tú compones, como mm -hmm. los All-Stars o los que tú venden en el spa, en el Pardos, que vienen con, con diseño de colores. Sí, cinta. Yeah, cintas, exactly, like that. Okay, guys, so let's repeat the pronunciation of these words, okay? Let's go back, and then we will continue tomorrow with this. Repeat after me. Bottom down shirt. Bottom down shirt. shirt. Belt. 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 Slacks. Dress Slacks. shoes. Dress, Dress shoes. shoes. Cap. 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 Jacket. 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 Cargo pants. Cargo, Cargo pants. pants. Boots. 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 T-shirt. T-shirt. Purse. Purse. Play skirt. Play skirt. Stripped ties. Sneakers. Very good. I will try, guys, to search for more accessories, more vocabulary that you can increase. So I will try to search it and send it to you today or tomorrow, the latest, so that you will have more, um, more words to to practice. Okay. Hey, now we have a homework. Ay, teacher. Yes. And let me let you know what is going to be the homework. Anita, Boris, Kevin, Eileen, uh, Carlitos Cruz. I know who's here. So hopefully <laughs> you, you said, I forgot, teacher. No way. Okay. So, guys, I want you to take a moment and pick somebody from your classmate. Somebody here. But don't say the name. Okay? Don't say the name. 
what I want you to do is to describe that person in a paragraph. You need to use the age, you need to use the height, you need to use the color of the hair, you need to use the good looking, etc. And if you want to use accessories as well, of course, you can do it. And tomorrow, I will ask you, and you'll need to start describing that person. And all of us, we need to guess who you are talking about. Okay? So I want you guys to put in practice the vocabulary that we have learned so far. You like it? Any, any, any yeah. people or? Any, or any, people, any people from the class. We're going, to start, we're going to start from the class. So I don't know, uh, do, do you remember Carlitos Cruz? <laughs> because you're not going to say, eh, Mr. Darth Vader, because everybody will know who you're talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, Carlitos Cruz, we want to see your face. Hey, Kevin, we want to see your face, come on. Kevin, Boris, Boris, how come they're going to describe you if they don't see you? All right, Carlitos Cruz, very good. Bodies, we want to see your face, come on. Also, Kevin, Anita, and Eileen, we want to see your faces. Bodies, finally, I meet you, you know what? I, yes. oh my God, I'm a witch, <laughs> I don't know. But Carlitos, <laughs> Boris, to be honest with you, I imagine you like that way, you know? Yeah, yeah. So wait a minute, take a look at the picture. Come on. If you wanted to take a screenshot, you can do it. Eileen and Kevin, because we want to see your faces. And please, guys, be on time and be on the class tomorrow, okay? So I want you guys to look at your classmates. Boris, Anita, Eileen, Kevin, Kevin. You see your handsome. Come on, guy. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, please pick somebody. I will give you one minute. And if you want to take a screenshot, of course you can do it, but for classes purposes, okay? Not for Facebook purposes. <laughs> and tomorrow you need to describe it. Okay, and now if you want to also pick me, that's okay. Uh, no, don't worry, don't pick me. Pick somebody else, all right? <laughs> hey, you know what, guys? I wish I could see you all the time like that. You look so nice. You're pretty, you're pretty, you're pretty, you're handsome, you're good looking. Come on. Hey, you know what? Wait a minute. I want to take a screenshot because I, I like the way that you look today. You know, I like it. You look so nice. Kevin, you are so young. You're a baby. Oh, I don't, <laughs> don't do your eyes like this. Like, uh. <laughs> yes. How old are you, Kevin? I'm turning. Oh, ah, yes, I remember that. I let you know that I double your age. Yes. Yeah. How was your dinner? Was it good? My what? Your dinner. Oh, it was good. I was good. I don't think so because I was good. <laughs> no, I just teasing <laughs> you. Thank you so much, Kevin, for turning on your camera. I really appreciate it. Guys, it's time to say goodbye. You know, time passed really fast. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Eileen. So thank you, Mr. Bye, Carlos Nature. Cruz and Boris. Hacks and kisses. Have a lovely night, okay? Bye-bye. Hey.